You want the name of another shop? Okay, here you go. So I'm feeling sassy today. And I wanted to rant about an entitled Karen at work today. I sell flowers. And like most flower shops, we don't deliver on Sunday. Mother's Day is this Sunday. And it's our busiest time of the year. Even more busy than Valentine's Day. Orders for Mother's Day start rolling in two weeks in advance. So we have around 20x more orders for today. Saturday. Then we do on a regular day. Yesterday. We started running out of all the popular flowers. By this morning. Same day delivery. We can only take designers choice deliveries. We are unable to guarantee particular flowers this late in the game. So I get this call from a Karen. She wants the order delivered 30 miles from our closest shop. She wants them delivered in 3 hours. She wants lilies and roses. Premium expensive flowers. She wants a big bouquet in a premium vase. And she wants the order to be $50 total. Her delivery fee was $17 and the Holiday Express fee is $25. I tell her we're out of lilies and roses. She gets upset saying that if she's paying a $25 delivery fee, we should go out and buy her roses. I inform her we can't do that. She keeps asking for premium expensive flowers. I keep telling her we can't do that. She calls me unreasonable. So she says, fine. I'll just go to a competitor. Quote. I. Knowing that all of our competitors are in the exact same boat. Simply nod. I give her the number of another shop. She's shocked. I ask her if there's anything else I can help her with. She says, I'm taking my money elsewhere. You've been useless. And you should be ashamed for trying to rob me. I say, have a nice day and hang up. What a choosing beggar Karen. Edit. I debated on adding this part. But to get her order to $50 her arrangement would have to be literally less than $10. A rose as $5. The premium vase she wanted was $30. If I did manage to get her a $10 arrangement, it would be vaseless. And like two roses we didn't have. It would also be below our store minimum. Impossible. She was completely wasting my time with this pipe dream. Never worked for a florist. But would never dream of ordering the day before. When I ordered flowers for my mom. It was about a month before. The only time I needed flowers quickly was for my sister's funeral. And that florist went above and beyond. I know that the arrangement they made had to have been worth more than I paid. I used them every time I needed flowers after that. Until I moved. When working in a hotel I often had to order flowers. I always did my best to order as far in advance from the local shop. I would tell them the basic color, theme, size, price point, and let them do their magic. Florists know what they are doing. It worked well because they often got to use flowers that possibly weren't going to sell that day. And I received a beautiful arrangement. Because they had free range of creativity and flower choice often meant that my arrangements were either fuller or on the lesser side of my budget. I used to work for a florist I can relate to every word in this post people. If you need flowers for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, get your order in at least two weeks early. P.S. I promise you there is always an entitled Karen or Kevin who thinks that just because they have money or status that we can pull a dozen roses out of our posteriors. The wholesalers are sold out to folks. Meanwhile, when I buy flowers, I always go designer's choice. Prettier arrangements. They know what they are doing. Edited to remove the repetitive use of the word, folks. How soon before she calls back? And demanding help, not asking like a normal person? I worked in jewelry for 20 years. The amount of people that came in on Christmas Eve 
wanting custom engraved pieces for Christmas were insane. They would scream at us when we said we could not do it. The best part. We literally tell everyone. As long as you have the order in on the 23. We can get it to you on the 24. I would also stay after closing for two plus hours for the people that were still out looking even though. Everything including Walmart were already closed. I like knowing it's called designer's choice. I've always just said, do what you think would look good. She loves things to be colorful. Having an industry term to go with what I've been doing is nice. On the other hand, I'm a florist's nightmare in a different way. I don't know a tulip from a daffodil. Me. Calling a florist for flowers for whatever occasion. Yeah. I need a flower arrangement. Just use whatever flowers are good for that. Them. What's your budget? Me. Not a lot. But I know flowers aren't cheap. I mean. Y'all are super cool artists and I don't want to be. Like. The cheapest person. Them. Okay. What kind of flowers? Me. Oh. Man. I have no idea. Nice ones. Just. Whatever would be nice. No. Wait. That's a dumb answer. You don't even carry not nice ones. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. Just, use your own judgment. Them. Okay. What colors? Me. Oh. Gosh. Um. Pretty ones? I don't know. You should pick. My favorite colors are black. Brown. And gray. So I shouldn't pick. What colors do people usually use for? Whatever occasion. Just use that. I mean. I clearly know nothing about this. Just use whatever. I trust you. You always do great work. Them. If I did a floopity do with these and those in. That would probably come up to about this price. How does that sound? Me. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Hey. Here's my credit card number. Then I hang up the phone and feel like the worst customer ever. Nothing says Happy Mother's Day better than embarrassing your mother with your entitled jerk. Behavior. Since surely she raised you better than that. My mother would never have stood for me showing that kind of an attitude to anyone. She'd have kicked my ass clean off. Before she died in a pile of embarrassment. About a month ago, local florists gave a heads up that because of the pandemic, there could be shortages and to place your order early. Karen doesn't understand the fundamentals of buying shit. You don't name your price and demand the goods. Not how the world works. I love when people want the moon for nickels. So far beyond your ability that you can just comfortably tell them, no. When I worked at a mattress store I had a woman come in who wanted a $6,500 MSRP king size mattress. With box springs. Delivered. For $2,000 after tax. Sales tax in our area was 10%. And, would not be doing business with. Us. If not. The look on her face when I told her, okay. It looks like we won't be doing business with you. Have a nice day. My friend works at a florist. She worked her days off to prep this weekend. Used to work for a floral wire service in the early 2000s. American Floral Services. Who were purchased by Teleflora. During the Mother's Day holiday. They'd ask all employees to volunteer to man the phones to call florists for those who were outside. Of the automated Eagle Network to place orders that had come in from customers. Late in the week. You'd call a florist to see if they had the materials to make a certain bouquet. Nope. I'm out of this flower. Can't make that arrangement. And you'd make the same call over and over again. As all the florists in a given geographical area would be out of materials. If you're going to order flowers for Mother's Day. The best thing to do is order them at least one month in advance. You might get lucky if you order two days before. 
depending on your area. But you're taking a risk of local florists running out. I'm a florist and no other job has made me lose faith in humanity as much as this one. Why would your store not to deliveries on Mother's Day? Seems silly to me that they'd still refuse to do deliveries on the biggest day of the year for them. Just because they don't do Sundays for the rest of the year. Seems like they'd want to make an exception for Mother's Day. Not saying Karen was in the right at all. That was dumb. My favorite part of retail was redirecting problematic customers. They never saw it coming. If you do things last minute, you get last minute stock. Sorry, Karen, roses bite. Where are you? My wife had three bouquets of flowers delivered from our children today. Sunday. Normal here in the Netherlands. If I didn't know better I would say you're talking about a co-worker of mine. Face with rolling eyes she was doing the exact same thing this past Friday. Except she wasn't nearly as rude. Still. I just sat there while she called probably 10 different florists. Wondering how a person could be so ignorant. Op. Next time that happens just hang up. For as you said it was only wasting your time. So why bother arguing? What's the saying? Poor planning leads to piss poor results? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.